took Monday as more of an individual and had Tuesday off and got back in there yesterday and worked on the things that we needed to do. And, uh, we worked more on the offensive side yesterday, moving the ball, trying to get everybody involved in the offense. So, I mean, overall, it's been, it's been a good couple of days. You talk about needing, you know, the, those days. I mean, where did you need them the most as far as just getting your legs back or just, you know, just to get away for a couple of days? Well, a little bit of both. I mean, coach throwing plays at us and, you know, watching a lot of films. I mean, overall, we just had to just focus on our school work and getting our legs back at the, at the same time. So it was a good, good little rest. Uh, Saturday's game obviously big for a lot of reasons, big as you guys want to continue to continue improving here, but uh, obviously it's Murray and it's uh, it's going to go on the road. You've been in that place before, it was pretty rocking. Uh, just talk about what you remember from that experience and uh, what you anticipate it to be like on Saturday. Well, it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. I mean, two years ago when I was there, I just felt like the crowd was right there, right beside you on the court. So, I mean, of course we got to come together. I mean, not, might, we might not have the crowd support there, so we got to come together. It's going to be all the guys in the locker room. So we just got to come together and just, just play WKU basketball, just share the ball and play good defense. So. You, you're from Kentucky. Uh, you know, how much, uh, how do you view this, I guess, you know, rivalry? You know, obviously you guys have split the last two games. Uh, how much do you view it as a rivalry? And, you know, again, being a guy from Kentucky, you know, these are two pretty solid programs, obviously. Uh, you know, what's your, how do you, how do you view it? I view it as a big rivalry. Every time we play each other, it's always a, close to a sold-out crowd. And of course, at third place, it was sold out. So I think it's a big rivalry. It's going to be a good game. Obviously, there's, I think you're probably the only one that was there uh, two years ago, for sure now. Uh, has anybody left? Sergio was. Was Sergio there? Okay, right. Sergio was there. Sure. But um, you know, obviously, it, then it's just you two. Uh, and you guys, it didn't, didn't work out so well. You got them last year here, but last time you were there, it didn't work out well for you guys. Uh, is there any lingering uh, payback? Thoughts maybe in your head? Want to go back there and, and put yeah, their show on? Of course, they're going to come out and play us hard. I mean, I mean, it's at their place, and you know we did beat them last year. But like I said, we got to come together at their place. I mean, because we can't get smacked in our mouth and just lay down. So we just got to. You know, yeah, there's going to be a. It's going to be a game of runs. They're going to have their run, grab our runs. But you know, we just got to stay together and get the dub. Coach talks a lot about winning on the road and what it can do for a team. I would imagine that uh, all the road environments you're going to, this would be pretty. Pretty good test for you guys as far as if you can keep it together and, and pull it out. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, every road victory is a big confidence booster for us. I mean, for the team we got, I mean, a bunch of new guys. I mean, any any win on the road will boost a lot of people's confidence because, you know, of course, when you're at home, you got the fans behind you. So, I mean, it would be, be good for us. You guys should be able to also get uh, get Tang back in, in the fold here. Um, you know, obviously he's been around in practice, but uh, what have you seen out of him? and? Uh, you know, as a, as a post player, you know, how excited are you to have him uh, in the fold helping you guys out? I'm very excited. I mean, seven foot long, I mean, he's going to contest a lot of shots. I mean, he's going to clog up a lot of space down there in the paint. I mean, of course, we need it. You know, we're lacking in that size. So he's going to, he's going to play a big role for us. What have you seen out of him in practice? I mean, he plays hard. I mean, he's going to give us some good minutes coming off the bench or maybe starting. So you never know. So. Been playing hard. He's, he's gotten a lot better conditioning wise and the way he's been playing. So he's going to help us a lot. How much has he grown, uh, you know, physically and otherwise uh, since he got here? He was, he's a pretty thin guy, but how much has he worked and how much has he improved? You guys have got the chance to watch him. Well, he's improved a lot. I mean, he came in a little bit skinny, really skinny. So I mean, he's put a, a lot of weight on him. I mean, because I guard him a lot in practice. He's not the easiest guy to guard. He shoots over you, I mean, seven foot. It's hard to contest that. I think he's pretty uh, anxious to get out there. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he, he's been, he's had a good couple of days, individuals, and practice yesterday. So, I, I mean, he's my roommate at the apartment, so I mean, we talk about it all the time. So, I think he's ready. Is that all, guys? Good. You'll still be going to the seven players, right?